Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury, and today guys, I want to show you a wonderful Instagram channel. That's right, an Instagram channel who's also a great fan of Archie Luxury. Father.time.luxury.watches. Father.time.luxury.watches. This guy here combines photography <clears throat> with beautiful watches. Have a look here. Look at this. Very, very nice display of watches and uh, just in a great look at this his food with watches his coffee with watches just great great photos great watches and a great lifestyle look at this beautiful cigar and you can click on any of these pictures here inside Instagram and see the lifestyle look at this ah what a wonderful way to enjoy a cigar so there you go, guys. Check out father.time.luxury.watches. Father Time Luxury Watches. Check it out, guys. You will love it. Hey, guys. Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluter channel, guys. Today, I want to talk about Swedish death cleaning. That's right. Wrist watch collectors and Swedish watch cleaning. And I got to tell you something. I've been... I've been I've been having some emotional problems which has made me collect a lot more stuff than I normally would. It's made me invest in briefcases, uh wristwatch books, magazines, brochures, all of that shit and I can't throw anything out. So I'm thinking about adopting Swedish death cleaning, Swedish death cleaning because the Swedes they know how to do it. Oh, all of this stuff. Just have a quick look around the room. We've got briefcases. We've got, we've got luggage that's too heavy to take on shit star. We've got plastic buckets with pens and shit. We've got Archie Luxury's Coffee Venture, which, oh, didn't go so well. We got all sorts of shit around the joint there. We got magazines. We got books. We got paddock. This is the paddock shrine. Toys, t toy soldiers, toy soldiers, BMW cars. Uh, we got everything on offer here. The pontiff has a fair amount of stuff. Stuff, guys. And let's face it there. You got to start the Swedish death cleaning. Now, I've already started it. What did I do? Well, first thing I did was I did a, a look at my listings because I've got a lot of collectibles, collectible hoarding, the hoarding. And I went through the list and I sat down with the wife and said, hey, what stuff can we get rid of? We worked out, hey, we need to get rid of some of the wrist watches that she has. She says she only really likes the Cartier gold Danwa and the Tank Francais in steel. What about the Amiga Constellation medium size white dial or the Amiga Constellation small size gray dial? Or the Lulex, Lulex please, 69173 two tone E serial number 1993. I remember 1993, it was a good year. That's That would raise about seven and a half thousand. Then we got Louis, we got Hermes, Hermes, Hermes bags. <laughs> we, we said, well, we've got one, two, three, four, five Hermes. If we got rid of three, three of them, kept two, we'd uh, we'd raise 33,000 Aussie dollars. Alma, get rid of an Alma, get rid of a multicolor. Get rid of stuff that we don't, she doesn't need. Then the problem is I started looking at what do I need to get rid of. Well, Archie's got two wristwatch boxes. Two wrist, 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 wristwatch boxes. Oh, he got... <laughs> I got the monogram and I've also got the Damia Ellipse monogram, sorry, monogram Ellipse. I'd like to, maybe one of those I could part with. I've also got wristwatches. What would I sell? Well, you know what? Four identical Pateks. What would I keep? What would I sell? Shit, I got to tell you something. <laughs> you know what? How about I just keep... The white gold Calatrava sell three. The world time, the annual calendar, and the 5196. Done. Do it, baby. And then I looked into my Rolex hoard, and I thought, you know what? Do I need the Millie? Do I need the Milgauss? I need the Sub. I need the Explorer 2. I need the Skydweller. That's three. Need the Speedy. I need the 
JJ Lukut, and I need one paddock six. That's the six piece combo meal deal hunger buster. Hunger buster. So I'm thinking maybe I need to declutter, de <coughs> just de jize. You know what I mean, guys? De jize. So that's the mojo doing the Swedish cleaning. But you know what? I like the hoarding and the possessing. I was having a look at this Brit. This is suitcase here. It's got a bit of a scratch, scratch on it there. <coughs> I fixed it up a bit. Uh, you know what? I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, I can't use it on shit star because it's too heavy. But when I'm flying premium, premium squeeze, premium squeeze, I can take it on. Premium squeeze, I can take it. Um, you know, I just like, I like collecting shit. So what do you think, Swedish death cleaning? It's called Swedish death cleaning because the Swedes, they get ready for, ready for all sorts of things, including death. So what do they do? They start getting rid of their crap before they die. They say you should start <coughs> once you hit 50. Well, big boys turning <coughs> 50 in October, start the Swedish death cleaning. And as a wristwatch collector, I'd like to declutter. <coughs> I'd like to get rid of those old PCs there. I'd like to get rid of those plastic containers with CDs and cassettes and shit. But, you know, I can't get rid of them. I can't. I find it hard. I might need the boxes again. I might need that stuff again. The Swedish death cleaning. Have you guys started Swedish death cleaning? Swedish death cleaning. I mean, look at my wallet. I got... I got, I got I, I got a card here for coupons for, for coffee. I got, you know, I got my wife's two credit cards because we're trying to cut down from using them. And, uh, you know, they're, they're not real good stuff. They're not real good, not real good on the discounts. I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, I got a, a, a coupon for Lick Ice Cream. I don't want to get... Oh, I got two, two coupons already on that one. Hey, baby. You know, I, I don't want to get rid of that because I love my scoops. I love my scoops. Uh, premium squeeze ice cream. I got all sorts of things here, you know. I got my, my Platinum American Express card because this one here, I'll never get one again. You know, that was one year I had it, then I cancelled it because I got behind on the payments and got a few, they got a bit nasty. But you know what I'm saying? I can't, I, can't, I don't like to get rid of stuff. I love it. I love the hoarding, the possessing. The owning. I love it, man. I got love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You know, I've even got greeting, you know, cards. I've been writing some cards and this was an idea I had there. And uh, I, I didn't complete it. But, you know, I'm sure it'll come back to me. That's a good card. That'll, I'll use it in the future. You know, in the future. Fooda. Fooda. And the computer. Uh, you know. And, I mean, I got... I got stuff here, man. I got stuff. I want to keep it. I want to keep it, man. I can't. I can't really. The Swedish death cleaning. I want to do the death cleaning. You know, I got all sorts of shit in my room here. Like here. Here we go. I got a box. 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 This is a box someone gave me. It's a bit in shitty, shitty condition. It's a bit ratty. It's ratty. You open it up. It's got a pen. Pen mark. Uh, the cushions are a bit ratty, bit ratty, 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 ratty. Uh, and you know what? The sweet, oh, far out. Why does that corner come off? What's going on there? Swedish death clip. What do I do with this box, man? Throw it, toss it, give it to a collector. What do you reckon, guys? This is the Swedish, see the box is ratty, it sort of looks like it had roaches in, you know, just a bit roachy. So I don't know what to do, Swedish Death Cleaning, Swedish Death Cleaning Services, Proprietary Limited. I don't know, I don't want to throw it, I want to keep it, keep it, don't throw it, don't throw it, don't throw it, resources, I, I'm scared of waste, I don't like waste, I don't like waste, I don't like waste. And that's the problem is, I want the Swedish Death Cleaning. It's a disaster. It's a horrible thing to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to feel with. Have any of you guys done, as a watch collector, the Swedish watch, the Swedish, Swedish death cleaning? I want to start it, man. I don't know where to start. I can't throw nothing away. You know, in the corner there, look at that. In the corner, I got, 
wrapping paper from Cartier. This is luxury wrapping paper. I don't want to throw that away because that's premium squeeze. It's premium. That wrapping paper just over there, the red, red, red thingy on it. That, that, that's premium squeeze wrapping paper. I don't want to throw that away. And then, you know, I've got other stuff here too. I've got my, my Google, my Google, my Google, my Google shit, my Google stuff. Well, in case it breaks down, I might need to send it back to those fuckers at Google. You know what I'm saying, don't you? And then I got other stuff. You know, I got the hanger. That's the coat hanger. That's the, for my BMW. You know, the suit hanger in the back of the Beamer. Beamer, Beamer, Beamer. Well, I want to keep that as a souvenir of luxury car joy because, you know, I've got to be honest with you, the economy's gone fucked. It's all fucked. It's terrible. It's terrible. I don't know if I can get another Beamer again. So I may not even get the joy again of having a Beamer luxury coat hanger. Beamer, 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 Beamer. I want a Beamer, Beamer, Beamer. Beep, 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 beep. I don't want to throw it away in case I need to use it again. The box, it could be classy. Remember I sent something to some guy who's really cool. I could use that box as a wrapping box. Wrap it, wrap, wrap and fuck, wrap and fuck, wrap and fuck. I could use it, man. I could use it. I don't want to throw it away. I could use them again. You know, I got old shirts on the floor here. I got old shirts, old pants. I could use this as cleaning cloths, you know, for luxury watches. I could I could clean the bezels with this cloth here. I got soft cloth, you know. Oh, I should have washed that. Uh, but, you know, I, 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 I could clean the crystals with this shit, you know. Ah, oh, it's good. And, you know, the other thing is, too, this is always handy if you go to a dirty barbecue. You can wipe it and burn it at the same time. Don't waste, don't waste. i got so much, so much stuff I don't want to waste. Swedish death cleaning. As a watch collector, have you implemented death cleaning Swedish death style? Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and today guys, I'm very proud to introduce a new sponsor of the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pruder channels. Who am I talking about? Watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com, watchshopping.com. Check them out guys, jump online, check out watchshopping.com. These guys here have been in business since 2017. Worldwide shipping and distribution. Over 10,000 wristwatches in inventory. Stock in hand. And 90 plus different brands. New and pre-owned. Now, the good thing about watchshopping.com, trusted by over 4,000 reviews on Chrono24 and Trustpilot. Your one-stop shop to buy any watch your heart desires. Please guys, check out whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com, whatshopping.com. I'm Archie Luxury and check out whatshopping.com. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. 
and it keeps me going on YouTube because guys I'm in a niche nobody can make money out of the views I get the views are crap because it's a small specialized area and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views guys sponsor me on patreon look down below and I will see you in the next one